What's good people, I am Galanachi the Creator, a Manila born, Cardiff trained, London raised, artist, designer, creator and the founder of Galanachi, a luxury human wear brand pioneering self-discovery and greatness. Okay, so let's just get into it, you know. So what do we, what we did this week? What did we do this week? Yeah, we, we continued doing up the business plan, like the business plan takes long, a long, a long, long, long time. So you can't, you can't really do it within a week, man. This shit takes months because that's, it could even take up to a year if you wanted to. Like it's, it's literally the essence of your whole business, man. And I can run down through the sections, but that's maybe for an another, another time when I've completed it. But yeah, I was working on that this week. And it just takes takes a while. Like you're doing you're doing your business plan, and then you sort of kind of deviate into another path because it's essentially it explores your brand, right? Your brand and your your business, and you want to be able to tell the whole story, like what you're trying to do with the business. So, me for Galanachi, a luxury human wear brand, I'm telling like what what product lines I'm doing in the coming future, the structure of that, the the future collections, giving an insight to future collections, just the overall vision, you know, and that's just one part of it. There's the whole other aspects that you have to get into. That's why it takes a long time to create a business plan, especially when it's a clothing brand or a creative venture. But yeah, we'll keep doing that until it's done, you know. And what else did I do? I looked actually, because when I was doing the business plan, I have to pull images and put some images in there, you know, some designs and whatnot. And I looked back at my archive, so the things that I've already designed, or even I forgot that I even designed them. So I have this, I have this pool of designs, art, like just literally sitting there in my iPad on my laptop that the world hasn't even seen. And there are ideas that are, that needs developing, there are ideas that are already been developed, there are ideas that it could be just like an idea, like I have yet to act on it. And what I realize is it's good to actually save these, save them, man. Because then you you have a pool of, um, how would you say it? A pool of references to, to look into. And sometimes, I, obviously, you get caught up in the, the whole, what do you call it? in your day-to-day, -day, right? And then you, you think that, oh, I only have one design or two designs, three designs. But then I forget that I have hundreds. I literally have hundreds that I have yet to put out there and all of that. So yeah, that's, that's one thing that I realized this week whilst building the business plan that I actually have a, I have a bunch of designs sitting there. And it's all just a matter of time really like there's specific times for these designs to come out you know because it has to align with the brand the current brand vision that i'm that i envision for galanachi so for this, for those designs the hundreds of designs they may or may not be seen or be put out into the world but the ones that do they will come at the right time. And we also this week I've been I've been pushing a lot of these uh, snippets from Galanachi diaries and I've been I've been analyzing these these posts and improving sort of the the branding, the, the visual branding. So I don't really have much branding on them apart from like the the what do you call it? The captions, the, the the actual on video captions, those are like my own handwriting, so it's my own font. 
So that's the only branding that it has. And then obviously the black and white. But other than that, it doesn't really have visual elements that depict that it's actually Galanachi Diaries. It's not like designs or, you know, you, you know how it goes with the branding. So yeah, I was working on that this week. So I should start rolling the branding on these Galanachi Diaries snippets next week. Oh, actually for this episode, for this whole video, I'll be adding it. So expect that new branding just so that, you know, I gotta, I gotta get stuck in people's minds, you know, like when they see a certain font, a certain writing, a certain composition, they're going to be like, yep, yeah, that's Galanachi, that's Galanachi. So just being consistent with the, the visual branding or visual language, design language of the brand. And also there's these things called copywriting and copywriting is the the writing. So it's basically the caption that I put on the reels. And what it does is it's supposed to advertise or market the, the video. And obviously I've been trying to find a more sort of a quick and quick and snappy way of uh, get uh, what the brand is and what I'm doing with the Galenachi diaries and whatnot in a short in a short and concise manner. And that's what I've been doing really this week. So that should wrap up what I did. And also I'm gonna be adding like a new segment to Galenachi diaries. So this will be like thoughts. So like some of the thoughts that I uh, kind of thought this week and obviously anything relating to building a brand and entrepreneurship being a creative and just anything surrounding surrounding that and one of those things is I I am not where I envision myself to be at this current moment but then it's during these times where I have to reflect and look back because it's during these days I dreamt of these days right but now I'm living them so li literally I found a, sn uh, a screenshot a Facebook screenshot from 2016 I don't even use Facebook now and it was a post I did it was like oh I should start a, a business and it was a, a it was a link a reddit link and it was like this uh, denim Zeus jacket that I painted. And this was back in 2016, so almost 10 years ago. So just looking at that screenshot, I'm like, damn, I'm actually living the dream. Like back then I was like, oh, I should, I should start the business. But now I'm, I've, I've started it. This is it. I'm wearing, I'm literally, I've sold some of this, you know? Like I'm living the dream now, but then obviously you get caught up in the day to day and you you sort of forget how far you've come. Like fair enough, it's it's human nature for us to dream big, right? I, I, I see myself all the way in the top, you know, and I'm not there yet. But then if I actually just look back and see how far I've come I'm actually I've actually come so far I've actually walked so many miles to put it in that perspective visually I'm not at the top of the mountain but at least now I am sort of going up the steps instead of just staring from afar and dreaming ah oh, I wish I could climb that mountain, but now I'm actually at the base of the mountain making my way up. So I think sometimes we just need to really not be so hard on ourselves, especially when we have goals and dreams that we want to achieve. And then if our current uh, life right now isn't a reflection of where we want to be, we need to we need to be a little bit more nicer with ourselves, man. Like. 
we've come far man if you really just pause and look back you've come far and if you haven't then maybe you got to you got to do a lot of reflecting man like you got to start doing some moving even if it's one step at a time but yeah man that's one of the thoughts that I was thinking about revolving this week in my mind and that that also kind of reminds me that we're not always going to be feeling great like your mindset is not always going to be 100% confident man if if anyone tells you that they're 100% con- confident all the time man they're bullshitting man cuz that that's not the truth like it fluctuates man just like the how would you say it to put it visually it's like that saying uh what comes up must come down right it's not it's not going to stay if you throw something right it's not going to stay mid air you know it's going to fall back down so it's just like that it's a fluctuation it goes up it goes down and then we move back up then we come back down it's always moving you know it oscillates just like night and day and then breathing in breathing out there's always you can't always breathe in like you're going to have to breathe out and you can't always just breathe out you're going to have to breathe in so it's just like that it's same goes with your mindset but you try not to stay at the negative side of it like always feeling sort of down or unmotivated or what not but yeah it's just being able to handle those emotions really those emotions those thoughts and keeping them in check because if you don't man that's when you start of start to i keep saying deviate man what's that word you start to meander elsewhere and just be unfocused with the the goal that you're trying to achieve and then it just goes to show how hard it is like entrepreneurship it's fu- it's fucking hard man like you're building something from the ground up you're you're attracting or well you're trying or you're working towards attracting customers clients what not and building employment for yourself you know and it's crazy cuz it's slowly working like it's working like i've dreamt of these days like i've sold some hoodies i've sold some tees some jackets here and there back then i i i just dreamt about it but i'm actually doing it now i've done client work and what not illustrated here and there like it's in motion man like it's just crazy e- even though it's hard i'm there i'm i'm in the thick of it now and i just have to push through because man there's no quit in me man i know i'll make it to the top man i don't give a it's it's like a this is how i put it if you're not with it now it's cool we're going to get to the top either with you or without you so it's a either or situation you know and i appreciate everyone who supports the brand supports whatever i do my friends my family my, my future supporters and what not even the ones that I haven't even met you know but yeah i'm just i'm just you have to be grateful man like it's crazy like you got to choose your hard like it's hard to do a 9 to 5 i did that for a year but then it's also hard to build it's harder i would say it's harder to to build something from scratch but it is what it is man you, this is the path i chose so i have to I have to live with it and stick with it until the end like i said back then man stick around long enough to see the results and i'm i'm going to see the results i envision you know it might be it might not be right now it might not even be this year it might not even be the next 5 years but man i swear to god it will be in the next 10 years or at least the next decade 2030 what not like you know but yeah i think that should wrap wrap up that segment and we'll get into the q and a you know So on the previous episodes we had some questions in the comments. So we'll just 
answer those so i appreciate those people who actually left questions so to my girlfriend thank you because she was one of them ones that left a <laughs> left a question and then shout out to jordan man he was my day one he went to to my no, not my primary school but my secondary school and we used to walk to school every bloody day man my guy so yeah i'm just gonna answer those questions what is the most challenging in terms of starting your own brand i think i might have just touched up upon this earlier but i think starting a brand i think it's f finding the purpose like some of us just wants to start a brand because it looks cool like like at some point that's how i uh, i was thinking you know but then it got to that point where i'm like okay I, there's already too many motherfucking clothes in this world there's enough brands in this world okay but what there isn't enough of is like a purposeful brand a brand that that isn't just about making money like there's actually a a purpose behind it that's bigger than the money it's bigger than just selling products you know and that for me at least that purpose is pioneering greatness being a pioneer of greatness so it's it's the it's this pushing this message that we should take our time to to discover ourselves and what do we actually want to achieve in our lifetime what are we actually what can we actually be great at and all of that so for me it's literally finding purpose because it's very hard to find purpose it, this applies to life in general you know it's not just about building a brand or building a business like fi finding the purpose to live you know to to live your life to the fullest that's that's difficult like some people would go living life trying to find their purpose their whole life and they don't find it so i i'm grateful that i'm able to actually live out my purpose cuz i found it you know i found it i found it around 2020 2021 and i'm living it man i'm living it and i'm sharing it so that i can and so that i can inspire the next person you know cuz it's hard man it's hard when you don't know what your purpose is it's crazy man cuz the, the purpose is your direction it's your compass and we all have that it's just a matter of uh, self discovery we have to dig deep and then find what we actually what we enjoy what we are passionate about and not live out what the, your parents think you should do what your friends think you should do or what society thinks you should do but yeah man i think that would be the hard the hardest part of um, starting a brand is finding the purpose and that just applies to life really so hopefully that answers the question and then shout out to jordan man this is your question what has been your hardest piece to create slash make okay this is how i kind of like um understood the question so it's either like hardest meaning like the literal meaning of it like it's like it was difficult to create or make or hardest meaning like oh it's dope what's like the coldest one that you made I'll answer both sides of those I think the hardest piece to create what was it what was hard what was difficult piece to create maybe the first the first uh, sample that I made like fully 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 and that was back in January you'll see it here I'll put some video a video boom but yeah it's that but then the hardest fit, I mean the hardest piece that I've made is the this leather jacket. This leather jacket is cold. Like I added the, the white panels on the sides and then the keys to greatness emblem on the back. It just looks fly as fuck. So hopefully that answers your question, man. And yeah, man, that's it for this week's episode. You already know, leave your questions regarding the brand or being creative or Biz, uh, running a business and whatnot, you know. And yeah, man. See you on the next one. Peace.